in the context of American sportswear, that's quite a um, perverse collection. Thank you. <laughs> there was always a kind of poetry to a Takoon collection. It's interesting that he's now promoting the idea of woman as warrior. Warrior was mentioned and samurai, so the combination of those. I suppose it's kind of like a samurai surfer. It started off as, um, as me wanting to do something strong in terms of clothes. I, I was looking at sort of warrior-like qualities and, and, and how to empower the woman of today. I love that show because I think he's really developed a whole new updated personality, more, much more grown up. I think he's one of the newer of the New York designers who has absolutely 100% solidified his status and his credibility as a designer. I really liked the way he used all that draping, all that chiffon, and, and, and the way that different fabrics were layered over each other, like you'd get um, a sort of a shiny fitted wool dress that had overlaid tweed on it. That was playing with the idea of loose and tight, soft and hard, all in one silhouette. The harem pants were just beautiful. They were fantastic. There's always a cheeky element to, to what I do or what I, I, I like, you know, but there is still that, that sort of Americana sportive. For me, what it was about was really the, the dresses that I think the, the very rich, please say, the prints, very, very feminine, sexy. He just keeps turning it out every season, just making beautiful, beautiful, luxurious clothes. And all the girls want to wear them. What more do you need to know than that? I'm very much into construction now, and it's really, for me, what I love to do. It's really, for me, why I wanted to do this in the first place, and it's really, for me, now, in this recession climate, it's where you go back to. It's almost like the starting point.